welcome to Salesforce Atlas. My name is Darissa. If you are new to the channel, I really hope you're doing very well. And in today's episode, I'm not going to do any Salesforce configuration. However, I'm going to cover something very important. It's going to be VLOOKUPs. As all of you Salesforce administrators, you know, very often we have to mass update or mass import data, completely new data from an external system. And the only way you can link and create clean data in your system is by making sure that you have linked the, the right IDs, the records. And I'm just quickly going to cover the formula. Feel free to use this uh, Excel VLOOKUP formula in one of your mass data imports. And in today's episode, I'm going to share an Excel sheet. So I'm not going to be working in my Salesforce environment. I have prepared some sample data with case IDs, account names, and then some other data. Now, what I would like to find is uh, IDs. Now I have just swapped them around and I have exact IDs that you can see in column A and I would like to find in column H uh, related account names. I'll just write accounts with a VLOOKUP formula and the way it works, I just start typing the VLOOKUP function and uh, Excel is also providing you with some examples of each function and how to follow. So first start with the lookup value. So in this in this case, I would like to look up all these IDs. Now I'm selecting here it is G2 to G9 and then separate with comma and next the table array where exactly you want to look for it. And in this sheet, that would be the A2 to B9. Then again, with comma, the column index number, where in this table you can find the answer, and that would be in column B. And if you count one, two, that's column two, you have to put a number. If the table would be, let's say, in here, then you wouldn't count as one, two, three, but you would count C as number one, it will be one, two, three. And just in this case, it actually started an A, so it is one, two. The answer should always be on the right. It should be from the right of your table array. So it can't be on the left. Account names shouldn't be in A and the IDs shouldn't be in B. And I'm going to separate it with a comma. And the last option is true or false whether you want an approximate match or you want an exact match. And we want to find uh, exact account names. We don't want an approximate. So I will go with false. And then you click enter. Now what happens? It pulled the grand hotels and I can just quickly clarify. So grand hotels, they will end Yes, this is going to be the right ID. As I can see, it does match. Now in the in the bottom right corner, I can just take everything down. And it often happens that in VLOOKUPs, you see an error. So it pulled correctly first five rows, and then I have some issue. And I can see I just I double clicked on the on the first row, my NA row, and as I can see. I can manually just change the table so it was just for some reason it's incorrectly indicating where to look for the answer and I'm manually moving maybe because I was just working on the sheet before and it is if you have large amount of data and you can't really do this manually i would suggest starting with a new sheet clean data swap around your columns and then you will find all the fields thanks a lot for watching the video i hope you found this useful and i'll see you later again bye bye